Royal blunder why Meghan and Harry's exit could make life more difficult for couple Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are forging a new life in Canada after their royal exit, but the move presents even more problems surrounding privacy and media intrusion for the couple, according to royal experts. Meghan and Harry are now together in Canada at their home on Vancouver Island after their shock royal exit was announced earlier this month. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex have been vocal in the past about their struggles with privacy while remaining members of the royal family and how they have wanted to bring baby Archie up without media intrusion. Prince Harry released a sternly worded statement last October about media intrusion after he and Meghan launched legal proceedings regarding the publication of a letter to Thomas Markle. This month, the Duke and Duchess have again issued warnings over the use of photographs taken of Meghan and Archie at home in Vancouver. However, a royal expert has noted such media interest will only grow as the Sussexes forge their new life and the couple no longer have the protection of the palace to help them. Writing for the Daily Telegraph, Camilla Tomini said, in the immediate aftermath of the Sussex's swift exit from the firm interest in what the couple does, next remains at fever pitch, hence the paparazzi waiting outside their Vancouver Island home. But here's the rub, if Harry and Meghan are truly determined to turn their backs on Britain and make a go of it in North America, they're liable to suffer more intrusion, not less. While there is no doubt the couple has an im impregnable support base across the pond that may soon dwarf their popularity in the UK to the point of irrelevance. US media outlets are going to demand their pound of flesh. Miss Tomini also noted that North American broadcasters do not have the same responsibility to abide by legal notices issued to the UK press. She wrote, as the couple's lawyers, Shillings, were busy issuing legal warnings to the British newspapers which ran the paparazzi pictures of Meghan and Archie walking the dogs down a woodland trail. American broadcasters were happily reporting on the news and the story, all while illustrating the packages, criticizing the interests of UK press with the very images and footage the couple have complained about. She continued, this poses two problems for Harry and Meghan. It not only opens them to accusations of double standards but leave them even more exposed than they were in Windsor. The paparazzi and major US networks are already treating the Sussexes the same as other celebrities. They might still be called Duke and Duchess but from a media perspective they are now fair game without the palace to protect them. Let's not forget these paparazzi are from LA based pictures agencies not British and they show no sign of downing tools despite the couple's complaint about being stalked and besieged. The bigger the market in America, the greater the need for pictures, which is going to make it even more difficult for Harry and Meghan to balance their desire for privacy with the need for publicity. Echoing these statement, royal biographer Ingrid Seward told BBC Radio 4 today, of course the safest place for Harry and Meghan to be is in the UK. They haven't been papped once since their marriage, and if they have been, no pictures have been printed. Those rules don't apply in Canada. The paps can come all over the world and line wait for them.